Normally I start these videos with the knife deployed, but that would defeat the purpose of most of this video for this particular product because this is the Fulcrum 2.0, second version of CRKT's patented Fulcrum design. It is funky. It is very different. Let me show you that again. What I'm doing is pushing forward with my thumb, pulling back with my index finger. It's not difficult to do once you get used to it. Brings it out halfway and then just squeeze the handle together and it locks into a fully deployed state. It does this by having two different pivots, one on either liner, and you can kind of see that right there. So you've got a pivot in kind of a, a natural place for this side, and then this one here is farther forward, much farther forward. And the handle is not locked from side to side, so you have this side to side movement. It has a standard liner lock once it gets open, but it's a very novel idea. Now you do have this strange open travel point where it transitions for the sake of safety. You can see some of the the travel, uh, the kind of uh, the track for the pivot to, to move it works with the, the locking system and all. But it's, yeah, it's a really novel thing. This is about 45, 50 bucks off Knife Center. That's a, about the normal price you would expect for it. Uh, the handles are, or the scales are composite back here. This is aluminum. It's interesting in that this is a concave surface right here. Let's see if I can get a decent angle on that. See, it's, it's concave. And also has a very strange thing that goes on with the shaping of the scales back here, where it also, you know, it, this, it's, it's convex across most of the surface, but here it starts to transition towards flat, if not slightly concave as well. So it, it flanges outward right here towards the tip, right especially towards the very end, which ergonomically is strange for me because this feels in my hand, it's going to be different for everyone's hands, but to my hands, it feels like I want to hold it farther back, far enough back that this starts to kind of talk to me, it kind of pings me on the, on the back right there, almost like a point. So I might actually file that off, but it's all about the action for this as a, a novelty item. Like I say, it works, it works. You have to get used to it for sure. When I first got it out, I was like, wait, what am I doing here? What am I doing wrong? But once you get used to it, it's actually quite quick and easy, but it's not confidence inspiring for several reasons. First of all, when it's, when it's open, because it has so many moving parts, you still have just a little bit of play in there. Let me see if I can get this close enough to the, the microphone so that you can hear it. So you can, you can hear that slight movement in there and you can feel it ever so slightly. You don't really feel the movement as much as the vibration caused by the end of, of that very slight movement. It's a tiny fraction of a millimeter, less than a tenth of a millimeter of, of movement. But it's there and you can feel it in your hand. It feels like it's getting loose or something. It just makes me automatically stop and look at the knife. You know, I don't expect things to be moving when I'm holding a knife in my hand. It's an indication that something may be about to go very, very wrong. In this case, it's not. It actually is safe, but I don't think I personally can get past that feeling, that instinct that something has moved, there's a click in my knife that means it may have gotten unlocked. I need to stop and look at it. Also, while deploying, it's also very easy to, to close, no problem there, but while deploying it, you get it to that halfway point. Okay, that's cool. And then you have to squeeze the handle. Now, the, the indent for your, your index finger is very close to the blade, unfortunately, and especially on this side, look at how close that is. So, I mean, to be safe, you wanna stay back here, but to be ergonomic and to be fast and secure, you want to be here and here. That's what feels most natural and see, that's just not, just not smart. If, if I were to use this personally, if I were to carry this EDC, I would probably dull, intentionally dull this whole part of the blade, this lower half inch or so, and then I would feel much better about it. I would just leave that as a part that is not usable on the blade so that I can deploy it without worrying about cutting my finger right there. Now, I could just do what you're supposed to do with this thing, which is do this and then only squeeze it from here, but it just doesn't feel right. So for me, this uh, the blade material is uh, HCRMOV13, 
13, 8 CR, yeah, 8 CR 13 MOV, there we go, uh, which is uh, stuff that they use pretty commonly for their knives of this price range, which is, is, is fine, it makes sense. The design of the blade is good, they've got very heavy swedge back here that's going to make this a good stabber. It's almost almost a spear point profile from, from the side. Uh, overall ergonomics, size and everything feels good when it's deployed, but that action, which really makes up the whole reason why you would buy this over something else, isn't worth it to me. <laughs> they really need a different design of, of handle and different design of blade to make it work better. And even, it's just as far as the deployment is, is concerned for that little safety issue. And then even once it's open, the that just doesn't inspire any confidence in me. I would not carry this personally. I would not recommend it to anyone who would want to actually carry this and use it on a regular basis. It's just a really cool novelty and I am gonna keep it for that reason.